everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is my full review of the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1. Now before I start this review, a big, big thank you to Vodafone, they sent me this out to review. Galaxy Tab is available from vodafone.co.uk, £229 plus £15 a month for your internet connection. That's right, internet wherever you go because this is not just the Wi-Fi version, this is the Wi-Fi plus 3G, you can see the little SIM card slot just up here. So you can get your emails, browse the internet, or use apps that need data, wherever you are. Wherever you've got a 3G connection, you're going to experience really good performance when it comes to internet browsing and streaming uh, media to this device. Now, what have I liked so far since I've been using this? Well, it's almost a month on, and I've been enjoying a lot of aspects of the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1. The first thing is the screen. In comparison to the iPad 2, and there'll be a link round about sort of here somewhere, uh, you can see my direct comparison between the two. I looked at the screens and internet browsing and the physical dimensions. And this screen is a 169 format 1280 by 800 screen, and I think that suits media consumption a lot better than the slightly squarer aspect ratio of the iPad 2. I've also been enjoying the sort of thinness of this device. They're about the same th thickness or thinness as the iPad 2, but this seems just a little bit more sleek, very nicely made. It also feels really nice in the hand, so I've been enjoying just sort of how it feels holding the Galaxy Tab. So what else have I been using this for? Well, if I give you a quick look around the back, this is a 3.2, or no, sorry, a 3 megapixel camera, autofocus, LED flash next to it. It's not particularly high resolution, but um, it does actually perform pretty well. I've been very impressed with this. Again, I showed you a comparison to the iPad 2 photos in a previous video. But this was the first photo I took. That was the one you saw in another video. And then this is one of my little setup here, and you can see my Panasonic camera. Now, it does look a little bit sort of blurred. That's down to the low resolution, but the actual detail is okay. Color accuracy is good as well. If I go to this one, this one I managed to hold the Galaxy Tab a bit more steady, and it's a bit more in focus. Really nice overall feel to the photo. So great for taking the occasional snap. As you can see, pinch to zoom very responsive so I've been enjoying using this for taking the occasional sort of photo on it it does capture reasonable quality video but not fantastic and there we go that's a top-down view of me making another video so let's pop out to the home screen what else have I been using this for well internet browsing if I pop into the browser you can see here we've got the Geekanoids website let's come off of the Geekanoids website and just very quickly go to Apple Dot com that's where I spend a lot of my time and you can see the website loads up nice and fast we're over a Wi-Fi connection at the moment and there we go loaded we can pinch to zoom and it's all very responsive let's go back to the Geekanoids website and again very good loading times and once that page is fully loading we get very minimal checkerboarding we're still going to get some Oh no, it's not too bad. Sometimes we get some whilst the page is loading. But that's pretty good. And we can obviously still pinch to zoom whilst it's loading the page. And everything just seems really nice and responsive on this device. Is it going to... Oh, that's because I'm over the video. There we go. So it's sort of... That, that happens on a lot of devices. If you're pinching to zoom in over a video area, sometimes it doesn't like it. So, oh, there's me just popped up. Let's go back out. And then the other thing I've been mainly using this for is it's really going to be a media consumption device for me. So I've been doing a lot of YouTube viewing. Let's go into YouTube. These are my videos here. Which one should we have a look at? Let's have a look at uh, iPod Classic. This is an old, four-year-old video. Let's tap on that. I really like the interface on the YouTube app on Google Android. This is the video here. We can go to full screen. Wow, this brings back some memories. Oh my goodness, look at me there. Things have really changed. But as you can see, really nice video experience. Viewing angles, we've got a glossy screen, so you're gonna get some reflection, but overall, pretty good viewing angles if you haven't got to struggle with those reflections. So a good viewing experience. Let me just put the volume up as well 
you can hear full volume. The box of the new iPod Classic. This is the box itself. Picture of the iPod on its front. The capacity displayed on the top. Rather than being a flip out design, it's and there we go. So the speakers do produce a nice sound, and they're positioned nicely as well. You can see them just on the side here, and also on this side, and that's nice because even when you're holding the device to watch, you're not covering the speakers with your hands. So good position of the speakers. So that's enough of that. That's a really old video though. So wow, look at that iPod Classic. So. We've also got a choice of sort of live wallpapers. Let's have a very quick look at those actually, because I know a lot of you like to see what sort of wallpapers you get. We've got a gallery of normal wallpapers. Oh, sorry, normal wallpapers can draw from the gallery. Let's just go back. We've also got wallpapers that are supplied uh, with the device. And this is the choice you get, just five. Let's cancel out of that. And then we've got a choice of live wallpapers. It can be maps, I'm on Aurora, two at the moment, Blue Sea and Holo Spiral. Let's have a look at Blue Sea. Did I tap that? No, let's do it again. So this is what Blue Sea looks like. Let's set that wallpaper and we go back to the home screen, have a look what it looks like. And it's an animated wallpaper. You can see little things coming in the side here. Really nice. And as you scroll across, you get to see a little bit more of it. So really, nice live wallpaper. Let's go back into these again and have a look at the holo spiral or holo spiral however you're going to pronounce it and yeah, it's okay it moves a little bit not fantastic and then let's go back to that original one that I'd set on the device. I'm not going to look at maps for this video it just draws on your location and puts a map behind and then let's set that wallpaper and go back out to the home screen and there you go, this is my favourite. It's got a nice sort of glowing effect to it and looks the part. So we've got a few live wallpapers to choose from as well as static ones. You can of course place um, photos in there as well. Let's do that. Let's go to the gallery and we do home screen wallpaper, camera and let's go for, let's have a bit of the Angry Birds. And we can choose which area we use. Let's just pull that out a little bit. Can we get a bit more of the Angry Bird in? There we go, that'd do. It's not going to let me really position it the way I want it, but let's say OK. And it sets that as the wallpaper. I didn't intend to do all of this within this review because it makes the, the video quite long, but it's worth showing you takes a little bit of time to sort this out but eventually it will get there and here we go let's go to the home screen and then we've got hardly anything visible on the Angry Bird but you get the idea we can put our own photos in as wallpaper also been using this for email works absolutely fine for email not really a fan of the Samsung apps but that's just me but overall this has been a really nice experience a very good tablet Good performance thanks to that dual core processor, good price and excellent that we've obviously got the 3G or uh, internet connectivity whilst we're out and about courtesy of that Vodafone SIM card. So Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1, things are moving at a fast pace in the tablet world but this is still a great tablet device. Thank you very much for watching, please do hit that like button, please also subscribe to the channel and I will see you all in the next video.